Hey guys, it's Heather from Kell of a Plan, and in today's video, I am doing a recipe planner. So I pulled this page out of my recipe planner. I don't show this planner very often, but I do still use it. And I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my holiday hot chocolate recipe because it's the best. It's seriously like so delicious. And we have these super cute um, like hot chocolate cups that I thought would be fun to decorate this spread with. So I am going to start by taking this cup right here and I'm going to put it like this and that's going to kind of help me pick the colors for my spread. So I think I'm going to do pink, red, and black for my three colors. Okay, so this is going to be called the Crock-Pot Hot Chocolate. Let's actually use my brush lettering pen um, to write Crock-Pot Hot Chocolate. This recipe is so good. I make it for, I've made it for my nieces and nephews. I've made it for girls parties. I made it for Christmas one time with my family. It's really nice because you could just start it in the Crock-Pot about two hours before you need it ready. And you just walk over and stir it every so often, but then you could just kind of set up like a um, hot chocolate bar, like around the crock pot, and people can just go make their own mug whenever they're ready. I will tell you this is a very sweet hot chocolate, so keep that in mind when um, you're making it. Chocolate. Choc-o-lit. Choc-o-lit. I think this is an O. If I spelt it wrong, don't judge me. <laughs> All right, crock pot hot chocolate. So cute. Okay, I really want like a pretty pink color, but is this gonna be, this is a good color. Okay, so here I'm gonna write my ingredients up here at the top. So you need one and a half cup of heavy, whipping cream then let's go ahead and add in black you need 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk this is where that super sweet flavor jumps in you need six cups of milk. You need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And you need two cups of chocolate chips. Here you could do milk chocolate or semi-sweet. Milk chocolate's gonna make it even sweeter. Semi-sweet kinda helps control the sweetness a little bit, but it's totally, you know, up to you on which one you wanna do. Okay, so then our ingredients. Step number one, this is like seriously so easy, but I like having it all on one page. That way I don't have to always look it up every year. So add all ingredients. to crock pot. Whisk together until well combined. This would also be good like on Christmas morning. You could start it in the morning and then everyone could like grab a cup after breakfast just saying I think it'd be a fun Christmas morning treat step two cover and cook on low for two hours stirring occasionally it is super important to go in and stir occasionally because otherwise the chocolate's gonna all like stick together and it'll burn if you leave it in one spot so you want to go in and stir it 
every, I don't know, maybe every 10, 15 minutes just to, and that will help the chocolate melt faster as well. Um, stir every 10 to 15 minutes until warm. throughout and chocolate is melted. All right, step four, whisk well before Ladling into bucks. And step five. Top with whipped cream. Okay. So, serves. I, I would say it serves... I don't know, six to eight people because it is like really, really sweet. So no one really drinks like tons of it. Main ingredients, milk and chocolate. Difficulty. This is super easy. Prep time. I don't know, maybe five minutes. Cook time, two hours. Temperature, low. And then in the notes section, I'm going to put, I just dropped my pen top. Switch things up by using white chocolate chips instead of chocolate or you could use butterscotch wouldn't that be good butterscotch hot butterscotch mm, that sounds delicious or even mint chocolate how divine does that sound so then the only thing you would change is that chocolate chip part and then you just change it to whatever it is that you're going to use serve with whipped Cream or marsh mellows rating easily gets a five star. It is a family favorite around here. Okay, so then what I could do, I'm going to grab this mini book because I think it had some more but smaller versions of the little mugs. So I could just come in and we could put another little mug up here. We have a lot of these that say the warm wishes, but I wish we had another one of this one. Oh, that one's cute. It says have a cup of cheer. This is definitely a cup of cheer. Definitely. Okay, that kind of makes me wish, though, that I had put this. Let's see. Can we pull this up? Okay. And can we pull this up? Because we could then put this right here. And then this one, oh no, it's all curled up. Put it over here. Look how cute it is.
So I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any other stickers that could go well. Oh my gosh, look at these. Stop. Okay, this is going to be so cute. Boom. Boom. Look at these cute little coffee mugs of hot chocolate. You guys, this is so cute. Look how cute that turned out. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go downstairs and make myself some crock pot hot chocolate. If you make it, I'd love to see. Tag me so I could see on Instagram. Um, let me know in the comments if you try this. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. And happy planning.